I'm Dr. Arnold Smith. I'm a radiation oncologist here at Highlands Oncology, and uh, we are the cancer care provider for Northwest Arkansas. We have been here as part of the Northwest Arkansas community, taking care of all cancer patients for over 20 years. Uh, I personally have been here for nine years and uh, provide radiation services for the patients here in Northwest Arkansas. We are a unique site in that we are able to provide a comprehensive battery of care for the patients. This includes in the radiation field, both standard radiation therapy, utilizing external beam radiation. We also offer some newer technologies, such as volumetric modulated arc therapy. This is a technique in which we can deliver an IMRT, which is intensity modulated radiation therapy, but with a newer, more efficient delivery process. It allows us to deliver that treatment over a 30 second period when previously it would take up to two minutes. The benefits is patient comfort. The patient does not have to stay still as long. The treatment is delivered more quickly and it allows us the time to use better imaging beforehand. Now we can take a CAT scan of that patient prior to treatment and be very accurate in knowing where the internal parts of the patient are. Other technologies look at the outside of the patient. We're actually seeing the area where that lesion is and able to target that and deliver the radiation very specifically. Another unique feature of Highlands is we are a regional resource for internal treatments. High dose rate brachytherapy is a treatment modality that allows us to treat gynecologic cancers. Many women have this as part of their treatment for cervical cancer or uterine cancer. Previously, they would have to travel to Fort Smith or to Little Rock for this treatment. Now Fort Smith has closed their facility and we have expanded our care to cover those patients at Fort Smith as well as from Missouri, from Oklahoma, and are able to do this very effectively and efficiently. One of the ways in which we're able to have this benefit is we employ two full-time physicists who ensure that our machines are accurately tested on a daily basis as well as the delivery treatments for these very complicated deliveries such as the high dose rate or the volumetric modulated arc therapy are uh, the quality assurances there. We know that what we've asked of our physicists is actually what's delivered by our machines. The current treatment modalities with the volumetric modulated arc therapy utilizing our variant trilogy machine uh, um, it really allows us to spare the normal tissues more accurately so that in a head neck patient, while we are treating many very sensitive portions of the patient with their back of their throat, their tongue, their saliva glands, these normal tissues are able to be spared much more precisely than they were even five years ago. This has allowed us for patients to maintain a better quality of life during treatment as well as afterwards. Many of these patients will continue working during treatment. Um, often they will go back to work at a sooner time afterwards and with better normal tissue function. What that translates into is in the past people would frequently have a very dry mouth where they would have a bottle of water with them wherever they went. Um, nowadays that's less common. We see them saying, you know, I may have a little bit more fluid with my meals to help wash the food down, but in a normal day-to-day -day conversations, they're acting very normally. Highlands Oncology takes care of the patient's comprehensive needs. We're here to take care of the patient, take care of their cancer care from start to finish. We will help you to figure out initially, what are we up against? What is the cancer's current behavior? We can help identify that by using our PET scan technology. It is by far better than any place else in the region as far as the quality of the image. We can help interpret that by showing the patient those pictures, help them see this is the cancer that is causing the trouble, and then we have a multidisciplinary interaction here. Here at Highlands we have radiation oncology and medical oncology, which are two key players in treating cancer. They treat with both radiation, which is what I will do, and chemotherapy, which is what my partners will do. Um, we have a very 
frequent interaction as we're in the same building and able to communicate uh, directly with each other. At the same time, we have well-established connections with the local surgeons. We have uh, weekly tumor conferences in which we will participate with the pathologist who review the actual tissue from the cancer. They will review with radiologists who partner with us in interpreting our imaging, but also we see them face to face just to ask questions about what the actual images are showing. And then, and additionally, the surgeons are participating with us very closely. We've worked for years with the local surgeons, have built a rapport to know um, which surgeons provide excellent cancer surgery and to help guide the patient's care path down that right direction to say this is the efficient way of addressing their cancer to making sure that it is successfully treated. And here at Highlands we're able to help bring all these pieces of their care together and uh, make sure that it's done in an efficient manner, in an accurate manner, and that we are able to provide the optimal chance for cure. Highlands is a unique location and a unique service that we provide. We're able to bring patients treatments that are otherwise unavailable in Northwex, Arkansas, and likely unavailable for several hundred miles around us. We take in cutting edge research, particularly in our medical oncology or chemotherapy arm here. We're doing some first cases in the United States of using new drugs that can help patients who otherwise wouldn't have the opportunity for additional treatment. Additionally, from the radiation perspective, we're able to bring a level of technology here that uh, wasn't able to be brought here if we were to have multiple smaller institutions. One of those uh, in particular is our radiosurgical program. We're able to bring the power of the Varian Trilogy stereotactic radiosurgery to treat brain lesions where instead of treating the entire brain, we're able to focus on that single small metastasis and deliver a curative treatment in one day, have them go home that night and often the next day they're out doing back to work, visiting with their family, going to church, and we've had an excellent success rate. Well over 90% of these people are having the cancer stay controlled to no longer be visible in their head. Um, that's something that we could not do if we were a, a smaller group or owned by outside institutions because it's not a way in which we make uh, income for our center. It's a way that we provide a service to the community. We're able to invest in the quality machinery to keep patients who need radiosurgery able to stay in town. Previously they'd have to travel to MD Anderson or Little Rock. Now they can stay here and receive excellent care in the convenience of home. You know, the most rewarding part of cancer care is, is allowing the patients the comfort of understanding that they have a cancer that we can help them with. That the patient turns from a state of fear of the diagnosis of cancer to an understanding of that diagnosis and then the comfort of knowing that they have a unified team that's going to be working for them, working with them to cure them of that cancer. Our goal here is you know, providing the patient the best care possible. And if that comes from our chaplain program here, from helping them find the right surgeon, to assisting them with the chemotherapy, the radiation, but really the, the most rewarding part is seeing that patient's fear turn into an understanding, turn into a comfort of accepting that they have cancer, and, and very often finding a cure for that. Seeing them come back over the next years and saying, you know, we still have that beef, we've still done well and we're healthy and back in society doing well.